Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Com, and welcome back to Project 2100. This is the eighth episode, and uh, today I'm uh, still backlogging because I'm uh, currently no, not currently. I'm next week. I'm on the, on a, on a, my uh, holiday, so uh, this uh, the next video will be uh, backlogged because I don't have too much time to record currently. Uh, but anyway, what we're doing today, we're, uh, you, you probably can guess it from the thumbnail and the, the title, but just to clarify, we're, we're building a stadium, and uh, I would have liked to make an American football stadium, because uh, this uh, city is supposed to be in North America, but um, there was not really a stadium available, which I would wanted to do, because... Uh, I, I would have liked to have uh, a high resolution, very nice and big stadium. So um, I just went with a soccer stadium from the uh, from the soccer or how how it's called from this uh, update. It is functional, which is very nice. And uh, I think this one is uh, from Barcelona in Spain. Uh, yeah, uh, there's also. On the workshop, there's a version with American football, but uh, it seems like this uh, ver workshop version has uh, does not have so much detail. And so I went with this, and maybe I can, uh, in the future, I can trick uh, the game a bit and uh, add a decal or, or anything to make it look like there's an American football field in there. But uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, something and uh, another thing that I'm building currently which looks quite weird is this overpass I um, I had this, this uh, idea very spontaneously um, well spontaneously in quotation mark but more to that later I uh, added this overpass to uh, allow people to easily go from the main st main uh, station to this uh, stadium because uh, you would have to cross this large avenue to the left and it, uh, I don't know, maybe it's uh, dangerous or it, or this is just a, a very nice and this neat way to cross this uh, avenue. Uh, also something, uh, people, the people who cross this avenue are actually now in the city. I uh, uh, unpaused the game, I did not connect up the highway, that, not just yet, but I connected up a train line so people can actually come in and uh, we are sitting at around 22... 22 22,000 citizens by the end of this episode, uh, which is very nice. Uh, on very well, on one hand, it is very nice to see all those uh, all those people walking around doing their business uh, in the city. Uh, on the other hand, I my frame rate does not like it, and uh, I'm currently sitting at, uh, at around 15 FPS. It was it was a, a bit better before that before I uh, let in the people. But uh, to fix my frame rate, I, alre I already have a plan in mind, but that has to wait until uh, not next week, but the week after that. Uh, you will see what I mean. I will, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, make a video to 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 say what I what I mean. Anyway, um, I uh, talked about spontaneously. I uh, well, I talked about making that overpass spontaneously, and. Uh, Spontaneously is in quotation mark because I made this uh, everything that I do here is made twice. Uh, the first time I did this, I had a bug, it, a very unfortunate bug. Uh, it did not want to save the game. I don't know why. I I've searched um, I searched solutions for that on the various interweb, but uh, there seems uh, there. There were many so, uh, solutions, but uh, none of them worked. So that's what that was very unfortunate. I and I figured I rather rebuild this and make it better than I already had it, uh, than uh, trying, than spending uh, hours trying to fix this. Uh, unfortunately, of course, if this happens again, I'm uh, I'm screwed. So uh, I think I will enable um, auto saving. Or how's it called in English? Auto saving the game uh, every cup every 15 minutes or so. Uh, on the plus side, of course, um, uh, this uh, helps. This helps certainly uh, with not uh, with 
not getting everything deleted that you built, but on the downside you, al you always have those uh, those freezing moments and I don't want to cut them out uh, because that's uh, that would be quite a, quite, uh, a task to do. Uh, but anyway, uh, coming there back to the build, I, I want to add some more buildings to that. Uh, uh, on that side of the train bridges, because it, it's still this, still pretty much in the center of the city. And uh, yeah, here, here you can see the people. I really like looking, ju just looking at, pe at the people doing their uh, stuff, whatever they want to do. And it looks very nice in this game. I, I really like it. Um, yeah, these, uh, the city obviously extends much further than uh, just the stadium. I figured I, I put the stadium uh, rather close to the city center and also close to the main uh, transportation hub for this part of the city. Um, because, um, of course, of transportation. Normally, uh, I, I, got, I, I looked up some news about... Uh, about that topic uh, with uh, football matches, or maybe I would say I should say soccer matches, and uh, the transportation issues they face. The problem is normally that those stadiums are quite a bit uh, far out of th far outside of the of the city center, and so you you have quite a bit of traffic going into that. But uh, as you can see, you don't need a you don't really need a car or something to reach this. Uh, this stadium you will be better off than just using the train the, the train and then this overpass or going by bike that's also uh, a, a good idea so I, I put the stadium uh, right in the center I also put down some tennis clubs as you as you have seen before and the, yeah also uh, uh, the pedestrian crossing uh, qu quite a big one because uh, you know I I was I never was in a in a football match before, but I can imagine that people get drunk in there. So I I thought let's make a safe uh, safe crossing with uh, all the, all you could need um, except barriers of course, but the traffic lights and everything. Um, yeah, something else to say about uh, this. Yeah, I um there's also another another hill on. Uh, on uh, just besides this uh, part that I'm currently building, I don't know if I show this hill today, but I will certainly build on it uh, next episode. Uh, by the way, this this stadium just looks so incredible. I wanted to have an open stadium because uh, you 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 can then you can see all the seats, and this is uh, the the most interesting part of a of an empty stadium, in my opinion. I will put uh, many more stadiums, for example, tennis or an indoor arena, uh, just around the corner on the other side of that uh, artificial bay that I made there, which will be a marina in the future. But uh, I, wa I wanted to make a, a big sports section. I also flirted with the idea, <laughs> if you can say this, I flirted with the idea of uh, making an Olympic village. I I've never seen that before. Or, or at least I, I don't, I'm not aware of anyone else that uh, has attempted this. It's basically quite easy. You put down a lot of lots and uh, lofts, uh, like, uh, for example, like this one that I'm uh, doing currently, and some stadiums, and then you have it. Uh, uh, normally, I'm not really a fan of the Olympics. I, sorry, I like the, uh, I like the idea of the Olympics, but uh, not really how they're how they're made normally because uh, as you have seen for example the Olympics in uh, Rio that were last year they, they are just a huge a, a huge um, waste of money because <laughs> I mean Rio does not need 30 stadiums or, or anything or uh, 4,000 luxury apartments although they say it's a uh, it this will be social housing but Come on, does anyone believe this? I mean, it's modern apartments. I've, I've never seen modern apartments with, uh, their, with their uh, own metro connection and everything just be cheap, uh, cheap uh, housing. I, I don't believe this. So, um, I, I thought normally you have a massive waste of money, no, not, just, not just the stadiums, which are basically useless but also those apartments which are then uh, just used for 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 
people with the right amount of money in their bank account. So I thought, as this is the pl uh, planned city, why not make it a my, why not make the whole city an Olympic village? Because um, when you build this city for, uh, in the first place, there will be no people in it until uh, uh, yeah, until you open the uh, until you open the planned city. That's uh, how those works, how those cities work, and uh, that's also how English works, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I I figured. Uh, let's make everything uh, an Olympic village, or at least let's pretend to uh, to make everything an Oli uh, Olympic village. All the infrastructure will be used after that, of course. And the stadiums, uh, some of them, uh, like this one and some other ones, will still be used after that for sports and events and other events. While other stadiums can be built, and or, uh, or at least the roofed, the stadiums with, uh, with the roof, with roofs, they can be... Um, they can be built with the in the with um uh, how's it called with industry in uh, uh I don't know how it's called. Basically, you can you can take them and you make you can make indust industrial uh, factories out of them because you have a you have a big hall and uh, nobody uses it for anything. So you can put in machines and uh, and stuff. Or maybe I I would like to get a get in an industrial agriculture sector. We know those modern uh, modern uh, uh, greenhouses, which are basically just factories for plants. That uh, is a is a real possibility. So I think you could uh, just pretend to have uh, to have stadiums built as those factories. But anyway, now I'm going into the lighting. That th this uh, oh I. <laughs> I just looked at the time and I'm already uh, at the almost at the end. I've uh, one more minute. I I had to shorten the, this episode a bit because, uh, of course, I've built this uh, everything t twice, and so I did not want to spend too much time on this because, you know, I invested about uh, six hours in this, uh, three hours for the first build, and now two or one and a half hours for the second build because I already knew what uh, what's happening. So um, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, next week will be just one video, not two, because uh, I don't have too much time, as said in the beginning of this uh, episode. And uh, I uh, I had in mind to make uh, to split the next video in two and make two episodes, but those will be just two half episodes with basically 10 minutes or so. Not not 13 like this one, oh yeah! But uh, I'm uh, at the end of the video, thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye!